Hello, friend. Thomas Manton IV here. I'm continuing in this uh, awesome message God gave me called Victorious Warfare. I want to speak about three things today. I want to talk about purpose, possession, and position. And uh, perseverance, obviously, is a part of all of that, you know. But um, you need to get positioned correctly with God first and then in your environment. And then you need to take possession. I think possession I'm going to do in another session. I'm going to continue in this because this is also becoming a great writing I'm doing. But today, Psalm 27, an exuberant declaration of faith, said the psalmist, a psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is, my, is the strength of my life. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked come, blah, 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 blah. Army, blah, blah, blah. My heart will not fear. The war, blah, blah. Try to rise against me. In this thing, I will be confident. In this. One thing I've desired of the Lord that I may seek. And that will I seek. That I will dwell in his house. In the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord, to inquire of him. The time of trouble, he'll hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he'll, tabernacle he'll, in the secret place of his tabernacle, tabernacle, he will hide me. He will set me high upon a rock. Now on and on it says, teach me your way, verse uh, down, verse 11. Verse 7, hear, O Lord, when I cry to you with my voice. Verse 8, he said, seek my face, and that, will I, that, and that will I seek. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. See, this is the position of admonition and exhortation and prophetic message of the psalmist in Psalm 27. That's, this is position. Uh, I want you to read the whole thing. Go over to... Psalm 28, too. It's a very, also a very good one. He'll strengthen my heart. Oh, God, thank you for the heart strengthening. Everybody lay your hand on your heart right now. I have the lion. I got my one of my lion logos. Funny thing that a, a tailor artist made. An artist and then a tailor. And it's right above my heart. So the lion of the tribe of Judah is on me. I want you to put your hand on your heart right now and say, Lord, strengthen my heart. Some of you have been feeling a fluttering in your heart like uh, palpitations or feeling damage inside that made you feel tired. You need to get rid of that. You need to get rid of that. Doesn't it bother you when you see people that have lack of excellence in technology? It does me. So the Lord is uh, the strength of my life. He is the glory and the lifter of my head. He is the awesome God, the King of glory, the great I am, the mighty God, <laughs> the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Victor. And we're victors, not victims. Am I right? I am right. We're victors, not victims. So I want to say to you, we need to have the position thing set. Why am I stuck in this? It's our position, because I want to talk about possession, and I want to talk about the other promise, the P, P, the promise, perseverance, passion, pursuit, all of those words. My uh, editor, my typist, please make notes of those, and we're going to make each one of those a little subheading. The words that I just said, passion, pursuit, persistence, promise, purpose, position, possession. Possessing things that God has promised. Yeah. So, uh, this dispositional sense is important now. One thing I'll say, they, they kind of tie together now, what I had in my spirit to talk about, is the position uh, of your environment. You have to have the right environment. You cannot have chaos in your personal world. And some people, you're going to have to, you know, just chase people out of your environment uh, 
in a, in a good way, in a nice way, hopefully, that, you know, that you can have your, your position correct and your atmosphere correct. So anything that disturbs you, anything that irritates you, you need to cut it out. Anything that you, uh, um, need to have in your environment to have the best of everything, you need to have it. If you need two and three sets of everything, that everywhere you go, everything is set up. I'm thinking about that the last few minutes. I want every vehicle set. I want everything set. Order in my office. Order in my home. Order in all my closets. Order in all my rooms. Order. Everything is right there at a snap. I can just do anything I need to do. And I have a lot of that in place, but I'm thinking about a few areas where I can have it even the more. And you need the people. Okay, that's another P. Whoa, Lord warfare people people can ruin you or they can help you think about it people that's another p oh this is a powerful book victorious warfare if that remains the title fine or i'll think of a better title and this will be a teaching teaching that will go out to the nations of the world so our position passion purpose people the right people you know People can mean well, but they need a lot of training. And then people can also have uh, issues they need deliverance. And you need to help them get it or else they need to get it from somewhere. Because you can't have devils and spiritual oppression operating in your atmosphere. I know what I'm talking about. So have your position set. Are you hearing what God is saying here? Everything that's disturbing you, it's causing you counterproductive days. And sometimes you need to just... Clear the slate, you know, clear the clutter, just move everything and everyone out of your way so you can be productive and purposeful and get on with the program that Almighty God has for you to be working on. Whatever it takes, you need to change your schedule, you need to change your friends, you need to some of your friends, you need to change your environment, some of your staff, some of your workers, some of your people, some of your, uh, you know, where you are, how you're going to do it. You need to get things done. You can't wait forever. And this is a great time to do that. Every day is a great day to do that. Regardless of what's going on in the world, I'm talking to you about your world. A lot of people don't do that. They talk about the external thing, revival, what, the, happen, what should happen for the church. That's great. Everyone has their own lane to run, to drive in, you know. But I love this lane that God has me in about success and personal success. I am your success strategist. I am God's prophet to the nations, a prophet who can also teach, not just give words of knowledge and prophecies about nations and what's going to happen, although we do that, and that's the governmental realm of the office, which is phenomenal. But, you know, at the same time, uh, we need to help people structure their own personal world. Say amen. So your own per person, person, that's another P word, person, personal, your personal stuff, your personal position, strong in the spirit, walking with God. Hmm? I am. I think you can see that and know that. But And also, um, just your whole environment to be productive. There's another P word. Ooh, Lord Jesus. The Holy Ghost told me. I was in the middle of a couple of meetings and the Lord said, no, just break off and uh, from one and do this broadcast right now. Man, this is powerful. I didn't plan to say this. The Holy Ghost is just flowing here. Ooh, another P word. Production. Productivity. <laughs> oh Lord. So we're gonna write I'm gonna write all these out, have these all written out, and they'll all have meat in the in the skeleton of the, the message and the points, and then they're gonna be down the line filled in with uh, all kinds of um, messages and revelation that you can eat and chew on for your personal well being and success. So warfare is also operating in all of these to get your world in order. It's not always the external. Let me say that again. There are a lot of people dealing with the external stuff, you know. What's going on in the world, what's going on in the church, and, you know, predicting this and that as if, you know, and that's prophetic, it is. But sometimes you'll never hear, like I, like I was saying, you'll never hear anybody talking about your personal success and well-being. And you need to have that. It's very, very, very important. So read the Psalm 27, Psalm 28, really good. And 
Stop your world from spinning in the external for a minute and look in the internal. How you're organized, how you're set up, how you're going to do this and that, how you're going to get things done is very important. You need to focus on that. Get your world in order. God is obsessed with order. He loves order. He loves order. Let me tell you what order is. Order is the accurate arrangement of things. And when you have the accurate arrangement of things, you can start to move forward and be productive. And then when you start to move forward and being, being productive, as you start to be more productive, you gain momentum. And then this thing, mo- momentum kind of flows and you start to get things done. And you set goals and you write things down and you decide what you want. Uh, the message we had on uh, yesterday, very powerful word about expect, God said, expect miracles, expect miracles for yourself. And I began to say how uh, you need to have everything, you know, in line with the few things that you really need right now. Don't try to focus on the hundred things that you can think of to write down. I was in a goal setting seminar and I wrote down over 120 points of things I want. I just said, right. And I wrote 120 things. One, I think I had 77, then it was 88, then it was 99, then it was 111, then it went to 120. Those are all great numbers, you know. 77, 88, 99, 111, and then 120, all biblical numbers, yeah. Very good stuff. 7 and 7 is uh, Isaiah 11, 2 plus Revelation 5, 12. 7 and 7. Attributes of the Spirit of God and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. 7, the number of perfection. 88, new beginnings, 99, Jesus left the, the 99 to go after the 1, 111 is Deuteronomy 111, I want to make you a thousand times more than you are, and then uh, 120, of course, is the number of man days, of the days of man intended, in, intendedly so, intended to be, though so most of us won't go that far, I, I don't plan on staggering around at well over 100 years old, and you know, if God would give the grace, fine, but I don't know. So, in fact, I heard the word of the Lord about how many years I have to live. So I have a season left, and let's make the best of it. Praise the Lord. For the few decades, couple of decades, however many we got more, you know, and then if the Lord doesn't come first with all the light of all the things that are going on, let's get something done. So stop focusing on the external so much. I know it's hard. It's hard. very tempting when I see this political nonsense going on. I want to post about it, and I just have to stop. I have to... Just stop listening to it, focusing on it. Just get off of it. And I've been doing that, you know, and the Lord is uh, is helping me with that. Just focus on what I need to be focusing on. So you that are coming on, you can write where you're right, where you're watching from. Share this with your friends. Thank you, uh, my partners, for sowing into the ministry. The Lord spoke to me about a $77 seed, which is in Kenya shilling, $7,700 or 7777 uh, or $77, $0.77, whatever, you know, 77 Because the number, as I was talking about, Isaiah eleven two, the seven things of the Holy Spirit and himself and then the other six attributes. Read that, Isaiah 11, verse 2. And Revelation five twelve talked about power, riches, wisdom, glory, honor, blessing, and for the purpose of dominion. These are power. I call them kingdom keywords. I'm writing another book about that on that subject. And... Um, powerful so jesus you know wants to give all these attributes that he gained through his victory to us and there's an anointing on that i had a heavenly vision about that so you can sow into the ministry a seed of of that or 77 dollars or whatever the lord would tell you some people it's a lot more it might be 777 might be seven thousand it might be seventy thousand it might be seven hundred that hey uh Not everybody's poor and broke. Some people, you know, can have things. They're looking for a place to tithe and give. And we have a world mission going on that's just phenomenal. So you can be a part of that, my friend. And my new friends that are coming on. You may have land or buildings or things to give or vehicles. or The Lord may speak to you in that way to say, find my prophet and sow that into his world. That he can do more with the work of the ministry. The Lord spoke to me about millions of people that our ministry would touch. Well, how's it going to happen? We need a lot of uh, wherewithal for that, people, resources, finance. You know, it's just massive. And the more we can get things going, like I said, have the order in our personal world and then move it into the realm of uh, gaining, being productive and gaining momentum 
And then things begin to roll and things begin to fly forward. And that's what God wants from us. So the harvest for you would be this thing that I'm talking about now, that I'm speaking this prophetically. Your personal world to become absolutely revolutionized with God's order and strength, blessing and favor. Oh, I feel the anointing. And, and I'm praying that for you, my friends. So thank you for partnering with me. Um, the great two books that I wrote, The Laws of Success and The Benefits of Excellence. And these are available in ebooks now. And we're, we're sending them to all of our partners. If you're sewing into the ministry, I will send you a love gift of my... If I have your phone number, that's enough. If you're on WhatsApp or you would like it emailed to you, you can tell me. Uh, tell me which one you'd like. You can write to me and send me a prayer request also. I'm praying for you. In the words of our great predecessor, Isaiah 48, 17, when, he, when the Lord said through him, I'm the Lord your God who will teach you the prophet. And thank God for the prophet here, P-R-O-P-H-E-T. That's helping you to profit, P-R-O-F-I-T. And that's my desire. I want to hear about it. Let me prophesy to you. All of our partners will have their own vehicles, beautiful houses, new things, promotions, elevations, and upgrades, and all kinds of miracles. Because the anointing for that is upon this voice that you're listening to right now. And I decree that over you in Jesus' name. I will see you here on the next broadcast. I'm praying for you. I love you much. Thomas Manton IV saying... Have a great day. Make it a great day. And I am praying for you. Looking to hear from you. Share this with everyone. And I thank God for your life becoming more successful now because you're connected with me. Thank you for partnering with me. I'm waiting to hear from you. God bless you. I mean it. God, empower you and make his face to shine upon you. I am praying for you in Jesus' name. Amen.